Welcome everyone, my name is Danny, this is TechRage, and today guys, we're looking into Elementary OS Loki 0.4.1. Now specifically, I want to focus on one thing that's been getting a lot of attention with this recent release, and that is the App Store. Um, it has the potential, well some people believe that it has the potential of not only increasing the popularity and the the, the the development on elementary OS, but also as Linux as a whole. Um, so let me bring up a post right now uh, to tell you more about what I'm talking about. Uh, they've officially released their pay as you want type of system onto their app store. So right now, if you're uh, on elementary OS or um, if you are about to download it, the most recent version will now have this new revamp version of the app store here now what the pay as you want model is all about is that now users have the ability to purchase applications um, at their own cost at their own price rather now this is really interesting now uh, hearing this right now people will be thinking wait what I thought it was free you know applications are free open source software is free yes it is free and more in the sense of freedom right but also um, monetarily wise uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be um, but also too it's not like you're gonna be outright okay it's open source but in order for you to have access to it you need to purchase it first and then therefore you can you know use it no uh, there will be a different iteration of it like maybe you'll get more support maybe you'll get um, certain software that isn't patched in with the free version with the entire free version um, in this case here um, it is pretty much how many distributions have been doing it where you know you have the option of purchasing the OS you know for like a dollar or ten right and then you can download it uh, in this case I don't know if I would really say purchasing because you could really still download it for free by just typing in zero for the price. Um, so I would consider it more donating. Donating. Yeah, and I, I like this because I'm definitely one who uses open source software wherever I go, um, whether it's extensions, whether it's a browser, uh, any you know open source software right whether I'm on Windows 10 at work or if I'm on Mac whatever it may be um, I'm going to try to use an open source solution for that for whatever I need you know to do so I like this um, idea because now um, this pretty much gives people the option to donate you know more outright yeah so I see right here this is the App Store um, one of the new software that oh these are uh, some of the few new software that they have included into the App Store, uh, Nimbus being one of them. It's pretty much a weather notifier. Um, it was created by Daniel Fourier. He's one of the key developers in Elementary OS. So you see here now you have the option to donate one dollar. Um, but of course, like I said, click right here, right? You can just leave this at zero. And now it's at free, so that's why I consider it more donating rather than purchasing. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, I love this. This is really cool because you know, for many users who are op you know Linux users, for many people who are more geared towards open source applications, right, rather than just using any application that gets the job done, um, this is vital for those developers to stay alive. You know because although software you know the software is open source and stuff it takes time you know they you know they they need an incentive too to continue supporting that application um, or embedding new features or fixing that bug right because all this stuff takes time and um, you know if you could donate a dollar if you could donate five dollars and if you can help out in other ways that'd be great there are many ways you can contribute to open source software such as you know uh, reporting bugs in a more um, useful manner you know um, you know including what happened like how did it happen you know what were you doing before that you know making things more easier for the developer for them to 
you know, make the fix, or uh, you know, you can provide a fix yourself. You know, some developers do that. They allow you to do that, and then um, they'll decide whether to integrate that fix or not. Um, yeah. So you see, there are many ways of contributing, and this is definitely one way of doing it. Uh, many, well, a few distributions have tried to doing it in the past, where they would include a price for the for certain applications um, Ubuntu was one that I've only used I've heard on a recent interview that there were others as well I believe but I could be wrong but I could so yeah I think he said that there were other ones too I know definitely Ubuntu with their app store was one um, I have never purchased an application there but I definitely had my own issues with the Ubuntu one account now for those who don't know what that was that was pretty much their account linking to like your card number I believe and then you gotta hook it up you gotta sign up and then it'll hook up with the app store and stuff but the integration was kind of weird for me because sometimes it wouldn't verify that it was me right like I didn't put in the proper password so then I would have to change the password and then it like I would change it but then for sometimes sometimes I wouldn't still be able to log in it was very weird I, it didn't really work out but anyways uh, this is said to be a more easier experience for you to um, donate <laughs> to these uh, to the developers of that specific software uh, you see they've they've already included quite a few new ones here like the bookworm application uh, this is a e a book reader uh, <coughs> organizer so that's pretty nice for those who have Kindles and for those who do e you know who read a lot on their phone through e-reader applications um, yeah and there are many different software that's uh, coming up right now it's very nice uh, some of these not now not every single one of these applications will have a price range like you see here spice up uh, it's automatically free uh, there's no way that I can put a price you know to donate to that developer here so uh, so it's only for certain software right you'll have the option to donate here uh, but of course, you know, like I said, if for some reason you can't, you can just put it at zero and then you can still download it. Um, but I highly suggest you guys to, you know, um, if you haven't used elementary OS and if you're a supporter of open source software, to check this out, guys. Because um, this is said, too, that it could be bigger, um, you know, as impacting the whole Linux um, ecosystem as a whole because... Um, you know, other distributions can decide to fork this system if it works, you know, really well. And they see that a lot of people are, in fact, um, purchasing these applications, then, uh, yeah, you know, they can fork it. And then this, this will kind of get the ball rolling because then now more developers will have an incentive to continue developing applications or to continuing, continue embedding new features into the software or continue fixing bugs. You know that's that all right there is essential and this right here is vital to the Linux ecosystem we need to have more developers developing great software right and instead of you know leaving it like nine months down the line and it becoming abandonware <laughs> uh, I got I kind of got that uh, phrase off of Matt Hartley he is uh, one a Linux youtuber he's been doing this Linux thing for a long time now um, really cool guy uh, he has he does a lot of very informative videos if you haven't checked them out you should really look them up Matt Hartley I'll be leaving him in the description down below so you guys can check him out uh, but yeah so abandoned where basically is just that you know software that um, is no longer being supported it's no longer being maintained so I really suggest you guys to really check this out uh, if you haven't checked out elementary OS um, and you like uh, a minimal minimalist experience that just works this is definitely the distribution for you uh, for a long time I've been planning on doing elementary OS but I just never got the chance to um, yeah there's a lot of things I really do enjoy about elementary OS that I just couldn't fit you know within a certain time frame um, but also you know with things happening in the background and I'm just not able to get to it so unfortunately I wasn't able to push out that video but within the next coming weeks I will definitely be putting out a video on elementary OS uh, but yeah guys so like I said you know <clears throat> definitely check this out if you haven't already 
it's really cool. It's a really interesting concept. And uh, yeah, this could have the potential of uh, doing a lot more than just, you know, um, providing more developer support on elementary OS. This could really shake the element, the Linux platform as a whole. And uh, I hope so. You know, <clears throat> I really hope so. So, <clears throat> all right, guys. So I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Danny. This is Tech Rage. <clears throat> and uh, oh, leave any comments down below. Let me know if uh, you know what you think about this topic. Do you really think that this will be a game changer to Linux, or is it just you know, you know, an just an integration to their app store and that's it nothing more it won't be anything you know bigger um but yeah let me know let me know what you think all right guys so I'll see you guys in the next video